Hi and welcome back to another Drive Architect tutorial. In this one we're gonna see how to use the content reveal element. You can use this one as a way to show elements or parts of your page to users only after a certain period of time. So we're gonna see how to add it to a page or post as well as how to use all of its options. First of all, just like in the case of any other Drive Architect element, in order to use it you're gonna have to add it to your page. And for that we're gonna go ahead and click on this plus sign from the right sidebar and look for the content reveal element. Once you find it, you can easily grab it and drag and drop it on your page wherever you best see fit. I'm gonna place it right here. As you do that you will see its options appear on the left sidebar of the Drive Architect editor. You will also see this message here that says click to add text or drag and drop element from right hand panel. This is because you will have to actually drag and place elements that you wish to display inside the content reveal element. Now this could be any element you want from our element list, so from here. Of course this depends on your goal and what you want to see here. So as I said you can either drag elements that are already placed inside your editor like so. We're gonna add this text and button element here and I'm gonna remove the background section that was left after moving the elements inside it and I'm gonna also go ahead and add a pricing table element right below this button. I'm going to select the content reveal element again using the breadcrumbs and as you can see we have all these elements inside it. In the left sidebar as I said we're gonna have all of the options that are specific to this element and I'm gonna show you how to use the main options section. So mainly the idea of this element is that you can show certain parts of your page after a specific period of time. So this is why we have this first option here called reveal content after and then you will be able to use this slider as well as these fields right next to the slider to set after what amount of time you wish the content to be revealed to the users. We can write any period of time here like so. And in this case, the elements inside the content reveal element will be shown after five seconds. So if I save the page and preview it and scroll down to the end of the page where I've placed my content reveal element, I'm going to see that these elements have appeared after five seconds. So this is what that option does. So coming back to the main options of the content reveal element, the next one will be the auto scroll to content when revealed option. Now this will be useful if you have a page with a lot of content on it and you are using the content reveal element on a lower part of the page, just like I've done here, where users should scroll down to see it. Now this will automatically scroll the page down to the content you wanted to reveal after the time that you have set here. This means that users will not have to scroll down to see the content as they will be automatically taken to it once it reveals. Now of course we do recommend that you use this option carefully. In case you have some important information on the upper part of your page that you want the users to read, you don't want them to be redirected straight to this content reveal element as they will probably not have enough time to finish reading the first part of your page. However, if you want to activate this option, you can check this checkbox right here and save everything. So if we go ahead and preview the page right now, I will not scroll down and do anything, but you will see that we will be automatically taken to the content reveal element as you've just seen right here. So the last option that we have under the main options section is the redirect to URL one, which will basically allow you to redirect the users to a different page once the content reveal element is in action. So right after the content reveal appears, your users can be redirected to the URL that you can add in this field, like so. I'm gonna save the work and preview the page once again and show you what happens. So as you can see, I've added a YouTube URL in that field and right after the element has been revealed, I was redirected to the same link. So these are the main options of the content reveal element. However, you can also use the rest of the general options to further customize the element, all for which we do have separate articles that you can find in our knowledge base. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And as always, make sure to check out the rest of the articles and tutorials we've added to our knowledge base.